Now, if you've already registered to vote, I hope you'll keep your eye open for the mail and fill out your ballot. Send it back as quick as you can. Don't wait to fill it out. Don't do what I do. Put it on the kitchen counter, and then you put something else on top of it and something else, and pretty soon you're wondering, where is that ballot? I know it came here a few days ago. So please put it in the mail so we can get every early vote counted quickly and avoid a big backlog on election night. So don't be, don't be left out because we need you. And oh, by the way, if you've got friends in Utah or Arizona, make sure they vote too. And during these next 28 days, we're going to crisscross our country. We're going to be talking about what we can do together. But Donald Trump is taking a very different tone. His campaign, his campaign said today that they're going to use a, quote, scorched earth strategy for the remaining four weeks of this race. Now, that just shows how desperate they are. That's all they have left, pure negativity, pessimism, and we're not going to let Donald Trump get away with it, are we? Now, the whole world has heard how Donald Trump treats women and what he thinks of women, and, and he is doubling down on his excuse that it's just, quote, locker room talk. Well, you know what happened? It just kind of happened spontaneously. A lot of athletes and coaches started posting on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. I mean, the National Basketball Association, Major League Baseball, the NFL and more, they are coming together and they're saying, that doesn't happen in our locker rooms. Of course, you know, it's not only women that he has disrespected. He's insulted practically everybody. He went after a distinguished federal judge, Judge Curiel, who was born in Indiana. And Trump said, well, he couldn't be trusted because his parents were Mexican. to feel a little sorry for them. They've had a really bad couple of weeks.